minimally invasive surgery is changing the way joints are replaced. This new technique enables your surgeon to implant the same joint components while using a smaller incision through the soft tissues surrounding your joint. A smaller incision is certainly desirable, but what happens under the incision is far more important. Traditional joint replacement surgeries require large incisions and considerable dissection of tissues in order to reach and repair the damaged joint. With minimally invasive surgery, less cutting of normal tissue is required to get to and replace a worn out joint. New surgical instruments have been specifically developed for MIS hip and knee replacement surgery by global medical device maker Smith & Nephew. These instruments are smaller, more precise, and more efficient to allow for the accurate placement of the same dependable implants which have a proven history of clinical success. The benefit to patients may be less postoperative pain and a faster return to a physical activity when compared to the standard surgical technique. Pain is caused by tissue damage and is felt by the nerve endings in the damaged tissues. Tissue damage occurs as a function of performing surgery when the skin, muscle, and tendons are cut while replacing a damaged joint. The resulting trauma to these tissues will cause pain and swelling as a part of the healing process. The less initial damage that is caused to normal tissue during the surgical procedure, the less pain and swelling there will be following the surgery. Since minimally invasive surgery requires less cutting and dissection of normal tissues, the end result may be less postoperative pain as well as less pain medication required during recovery. When there is excessive pain following surgery, early mobility is inhibited and overall recovery is slowed. This is true for any surgery, but especially true for joint replacement. Pain and swelling will inhibit the muscle function required to move the leg and begin physical therapy. The faster that a patient can begin physical therapy and exit the hospital bed, the less chance there will be to develop complications from blood clots, pneumonia, and bed sores.